Hi all, this is Papaya with Papaya Pythons. I'm here to share with you today possibly our favorite morph. This is a piebald and his name is Peter. So Peter is going to tell us a little bit about how development works in snakes because this is a developmental mutation. So when things are developing either in the uterus if you're a mammal or in the egg if you're a ball python, they have sort of the same set of steps they go through in order to reach full development. So Peter had this moment when he was an embryo, a teeny tiny embryo, where all of these cells gathered at the base of his skull. They marched down his spine and towards his tummy. And those cells are called melanocytes or melanophores. And those are the things that associate with the skin and create all of the pigment. So if you don't associate correctly with the skin, then you have an opportunity to lose all pigment. No pigment can be made whatsoever, even though you have all of the right genes to make all of the right colors. This defect is not unique to snakes. It occurs also in horses and dogs. And we'll show you some examples of those two in photos. And it's a really neat mutation because there's an element of randomness to it. You see, some of these founder cells that created the pigment successfully spread out along development as Peter was getting bigger and longer, and those areas have color. But not all piebalds have this much color, and some piebalds have more color. So to a certain extent, there's a randomness of which cells associate when and how much that affects the individual, which means that every piebald is unique. That's especially interesting to us here at Papaya Pythons as we continue to make combos and stack other mutations with piebald. Also interesting is that even where Peter has color on top, he has no color on the bottom. So those cells never quite made it to their full trajectory underneath his stomach on the ventral side. But if we look at the underside of Peter's face, we can see that there are actually color pigment cells there because that's where they started and so that was the shortest distance for them to travel all the way underneath. This is a really cool look at development in reptiles and animals in general and it's something that we love just can't get enough of basically. For more videos like this follow us Papaya Pythons. We're on Twitter, Google+, Facebook, and all that jazz. If you have specific questions feel free to email us and if you're in the Northern California area watch out for our events.